Well, this is the rig that kept me in the top 10, for, at least for the first two days. Uh, it was just a simple three-way, like I said in the first video. That's what I was using. Um, these little floaters, a lot of times in stores you see these come with the stinger hook behind them. And it's a good idea to keep those on, especially when you're using night crawlers, because what you can do is you can take that stinger and you can hook that into your crawler uh, quite a bit further back if you're using a half a crawler, anchor it almost towards the back of that half a crawler. That puts an exaggerated bend in that crawler and it really forces it to twirl and spin. And that spinning action really gets you a lot of extra bites sometimes. As far as weights went, um, this is the size weight that I was using most of the time, but as that flow increased, you know, I either had to, you had to do one of two things. You had to either had to decrease your speed to maintain the same line angle that you had you know, when you, when you were fishing with the lower water with the same weight, or you had to go to a heavier weight so you could keep your same speed going forward and still maintain the same presentation that you, that you tried to have, you know, go with the, with, with the, with the lighter weight. So, um, those are two different things you could have done, but either way, that's what got me to where I was. And, uh, that's also what got my butt kicked the third day. But, uh, it's a good rig. It's a staple on the river. And, uh, in this color, I don't know where you get these from. I think, like I said, I think Brett had some of these painted up for him. But uh, that is one sweet color to have on the river, especially in dirtier water. And uh, it did its job. It did pretty good.